It's a belief and a foundation within the Michigan State football program that you can only go as far as your leaders will take you. Whether that be from the head coach or from the respective leaders of each, the offensive and defensive units, strong leadership is required to be successful. On November 27, 2006, Mark D'Antonio became the 24th head football coach at Michigan State University. Very, very appreciative. This is a dream come true for me and for our family. Uh, it's great to come back and it's great to be home and to be a part of this uh, tradition. This weekend's game against the Indiana Hoosiers will be Coach D'Antonio's 100th game as head coach of Michigan State. So let's go back and take a look at some of his highlights and achievements as head coach of the Spartans. For the very first time, Mark D'Antonio is leading his team on a march to what Spartan Nation hopes is a bright future as the Mark D'Antonio era begins. Okay, I think Mark D'Antonio is the perfect fit for this job. He's been here before, he knows the landscape, he has his staff and system in place, and maybe the most important thing, he has a passion for Spartan football. Baby, let's go! Let's go! Let's get it going! Let's get it going! Antonio off to a great start and some tougher challenges just down the road. Yeah, I really think that he's the guy that's going to make things make things really come together for Michigan State. Play fake to J.U. Brian Hoyer unloads deep right for Devin Thomas. What a catch! Touchdown, MSU! As Coach Mark D'Antonio of Michigan State said, in this state, you're either green or you're blue. Brian's in the shotgun with Javon to his right. Quick throw over the middle. Caught by Blair White. He's behind the Wolverines. He's at the 30, the 25, the 20. Angles to the left pylon. He's in there. Standing up. Touchdown, MSU! Michigan State won last year in Ann Arbor. The Spartans try for back-to-back -back wins in this series for the first time since the mid-60s. Hawking in front of Caper. Hand off to Larry Caper. Cuts inside. He's at the 20. Caper on his feet at the 15. He's gone. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU! Spartans win! The Spartans win in overtime! Dan Conroy with the biggest kick of his life. Oh, they'll fake it. Bates. Throws it. He's got him. Yeah, wide open. <laughs> He's got Charlie Gant inside the 10. He can walk in. Spartans win. Touchdown, MSU. Behind Benzik now in the eye on first and 10 at the Penn State 24. Kirk back to throw. Zings it. Inside Beautiful. the five. Caught in a crowd. Touchdown, MSU. It is official. The Spartans are Big Ten champions for the seventh time. The last time Michigan State beat Michigan four straight times was 59 to 62. I asked Mark D'Antonio yesterday, what would it mean to you? He says, five straight would be better than four. Here's the snap. Here comes the heat. Fires. Oh, picked off. Isaiah Lewis has it at the 20, the 15. Touchdown, MSU. How about that? Four straight wins. So this senior class. Goes 4-0 against Michigan. One last shot with four seconds to play to avoid overtime. Badgers have three defenders back inside the five-yard line. Kirk rolls to his right. Finally sends a long spiral to the end zone. Tap he got right it! And caught at the goal line. Spartans win! Unbelievable! Touchdown! Touchdown! MSU! It couldn't have gone any other way, George. It couldn't have gone any other way. What a finish! Blair Walsh to send us to a fourth overtime. It is blocked! It is blocked! Sparty on! Michigan State sends its senior class out with a bowl win! Michigan State finds a way to get Mark D'Antonio his first bowl victory. In Spencer set short side right. Braxton Miller will run that way. He's there hit. You go. He's hit down. He didn't he make didn't it. Get it. He is hit down. Down, down, down goes the Buckeye. Lip it in motion. They'll give it straight ahead. Langford still running. Touchdown, Sparks. I said a long time ago, 
You will be the ones. You are looking live at one of the most iconic scenes on the American sporting calendar. The Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Connor winds up, throws over the middle. Oh, there he is. The five. He's Bowden in there. Lippitt dives into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. The Spartans take the lead in the Rose Bowl. Long count. Hands He's to stopped Gaffney. Though. He's, He's stopped in. Though. He's he won't stopped. go anywhere. He won't go anywhere. And the Spartans are on their way to a win in the Rose Bowl. Seven years at Michigan State, all building to this achievement. What are you most proud of tonight? Completion. It's special time for all the Spartans, and we came here in force. Last season, when the Michigan State offense was struggling to find an identity, they turned to redshirt sophomore Connor Cook. You know, growing up, you have dreams and aspirations of playing big time football, and then finally being able to start and, and earn that starting spot it was just, just truly amazing. Along with that opportunity came great responsibility. It's a position where you, you seek perfection, but you will never get it. And, and you see guys in the NFL or guys at the college level that there's always continued room for growth. And I, and I think that's the one thing he does understand. I'm, I'm with him. If you think not, okay, you gotta see what you see. If you're, are you worried about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now go high with your eyes. Then what? Back to the wall. Right there. Instead, you're trying to force and throw across your body, okay? Learning moment. We gotta fix it today. You see maybe mishaps in the previous week or success in other weeks that you just continue to build and, and really try to perfect the craft of being a quarterback. Movement, one slide up, sideways. Okay, now back up and under. Depth, run through it. One, two, three, four, five, see it, make something happen. Next guy, go. In a position with such a demand, Connor knows the importance of constant improvement. You know, I've grown a lot since I've been here. Uh, you know, going all the way back to my freshman year, I remember just coming in and uh, you know, watching Kirk Cousins play, and he's just so accurate and just, went, and just knew where to go with the football every single time. Uh, and, and I had a lot to learn. You know, I think the area that I really improved the most in is just the knowledge of the game. One of the key factors in Connor's success and his development as a quarterback is the time he puts in off the field. Well, I think part of being a successful quarterback is, is how much time do you put in away from really just your regular meeting time and and just being tuned in and focused and what to look for. And as you see here, um, this is a play from Purdue. Um, as you see here, you know, Tony has an out route right there. And then you got Aaron Burbage on an, on an under route. So really, if I would have been disciplined in my read, I either would have thrown it to Tony, who um, gets some separation, who can possibly get the first down. And then um, Burbage, as you see right here, come underneath. So you see Tony kind of gets separation right there. Um, you know, if I put the ball on the screws right on the money, he probably turns up field, gets the first down, instead of throwing the ball to Josiah um, and not executing. Obviously, if we would have gotten it, it would have been a you know, much closer game than it was. Uh, it's pretty painful to watch. Well, I think it's, it's never ending, the process of, of growing as a quarterback. And for him, it's just progression, understanding where to go with the football, and you know, continue to just learn offense. This is an example of me actually doing well for once. Um, it's third and 15, uh, third and long. We need to get the first down, obviously, to, to you know, possibly put ourselves in field goal range. Um, this is uh, Tony's running a uh, over route, as you see. Tony isn't really open right now. Um, it's pretty much covered, but because of our chemistry, because of the long hours that we spent working out and stuff over the summer, I can throw that ball to a spot you know, where I think he's gonna be um, and complete it and uh, move the ball, uh, move the chains and get the first down. Takes the snap, throws over the middle. Catch made by guess who, Tony Lippett. It's neat to see how far he's come just in the last year or two years or three years, you know, that he's been here and how much he's grown as a, as a football player. But you really see it in, in the growth and just understanding concepts and where to go and who takes it all away from him. You know, collectively as a team, um, if we want to go where we want to go, if we want to reach the goals that we want to reach um, and accomplish those goals, I think we got to, um, you know, obviously remain confident, remain hungry, uh, to never be satisfied. Um, you know, focusing on the task at hand, uh, you know, week by week going 1-0 and just remaining hungry. The snap to Armstrong. He'll have to pull it down there and it is. he is knocked down. He is sacked back. Over the years, the, the Michigan State line. defense has established itself as one of the best 
and most feared defensive units in college football. The foundation of it is on defense. They have six new starters on defense. And of course, in the middle, Max Bulla, he is gone. And you have Twan Jones there. After losing many veteran leaders from the defensive unit last year, including Max Bulla, entering this season, the Spartans turned to Twan Jones to take over the middle linebacker position and anchor one of the nation's top defensive units. Well, Tuan Jones has all the physical characteristics that you're looking for in a Mike linebacker, so thought that would be the ideal fit if he was willing to grab onto and thrive in, uh, in the setting where he's the leader and he's the communicator of the defense. Uh, the process is very difficult. Um, it was also a very fun process and it was also a learning process. Coming from the outside, it was a lot of things, you know, that I didn't know. Um, with Max being in the middle, he pretty much controlled everything. He pretty much knew what to do. And then me coming in, having to take on a role like that, you know, I took it as a challenge. There's a lot that you needed to know, um, a lot that you needed to study, and a lot that you had to know about the other players in front of you and around you for, you, you know, the defense to be great. So I had to not only know what my position does, but what everyone around me does, which is probably, which is probably one of the most difficult things I had to do. Our Mike Backer needs to be a guy who's on his toes and, and recognizes um, situations and formations and, and uh, can get us into the defense that we want at that particular time. Because offenses change so much and look to the sideline, we need to have a guy who can make the adjustments on the defensive side of the ball like a quarterback or a coach does on offense. The most important responsibilities is getting the call. So getting the call from the sideline, a call in the front for the defense, getting them lined up. Uh, if we like what we see, you know, we keep it on whatever the play was. If not, we make the changes of what we like and what we don't like. We expect every week new game plan that the big beginning of the week, there's a lot and you have to think a little bit, but, but we need you by the end of the week to not be thinking, to be reacting. It comes in in the classroom and here in the film room. It also comes in on, out there on the field during practice. We're just preparing, uh, you know, just for that, that tempo, trying to do it faster than the scout offense that we have and just trying, trying to uh, continue to, you know, just make the right changes for our defense and the right amount of time that we have. Shotgun snap. Apple be in trouble and they have to duck his head and take a hit from Tawan Jones. Well, I take it one uh, play at a time. Uh, I can't really, I can't really get myself down or show the other players that I'm getting down um, because you know, but I feel like they feed off me. They feed off my energy because I'm the one getting them lined up. I'm the one making the calls. So I just take it one play at a time. Uh, if I mess up, don't hang my head. Just go on to the next one because two, play, two bad plays is worse than one bad play. So I just look at it that way and uh, continue to stay level-headed when I do make good calls. When you look at Tuan in the Nebraska game and there was emotion, there was urgency. You know, people could feel him bouncing around right behind him. And we need that out of him every single week. We need that type of emotion, that type of leadership, that type of ownership every single week. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Bloomington, Indiana, and the battle for the old brass spittoon. That trophy sits at the Scandalera Center in the Duffy Doherty Football Building in East Lansing. MSU won the toss, deferred. Indiana will receive. The Spartans will defend the north goal. The opening kick way back in the back end of the end zone. And here's the first snap of the college career for Xander Diamond. Six feet, 175 from L.A. Rolls to his right, puts his head down. He won't get anything. Ed Davis made the tackle. Connor Cook is in the shotgun. Winds up and throws right side. Falling down grab made by Tony Lippett. He catches them all, doesn't he? Connor Cook in the shotgun. Takes the snap, throws it left side. Caught in some space by McGarrett Kings. He's got a first down. Andrew Gleikert's the one on the wing. Starts in motion. They'll run it left side. Jeremy's got a hole. Cuts back to his right at the 20. He's at the 15. He's at the 10. Dives for the right pylon. Touchdown, MSU. Wow. Just Jeremy Lankford, great run. Diamant now has Tevin Coleman to his left. Drops back, wants to screen it to the left side for Coleman. He'll make the catch. He won't get much, though. He's down at about the 30-yard line. Moving it left to right across your radio here in the first play fake by Connor Cook. Out of the shotgun, screens it left side for McGarrett Kings. Blockers in front, he's at midfield. McGarrett Kings to the 45-yard line. Burbridge set left. Jeremy to the right of Connor Cook. Shotgun snap, left side throw. Catch made by Josiah Price. 
Tight to the right, Coleman to the left of Diamond. Here's the snap. Looking, looking, nowhere to throw it. Scrambles to his right, puts his head down, scrambles back to his left, and is hit hard at the 10 by Trey Waynes. He was nailed wow. at the 10. Hello. Connor Cook with Nick Hill to his right, starts Keith Mumphrey in motion, delayed handoff. He's got a caravan. Nick running to his left with the blocker, 25-20. He's at the 15 and pulled down. Tony Lippett set left. Hill to the right of Connor Cook, winds up to throw, grab. Nice grab. the five. What a catch. Josiah Price into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Michigan State 14, Indiana 3. Diamant takes the... Pistol snap hands to Roberts on a delay, and he'll go nowhere at all. Mumphrey in motion left to right. Langford to the left of Connor Cook. Connor lines up to throw, fires it out at the 40. Field. Great catch by Josiah Price. Turns to the sideline. Nice block. Josiah gets a block. He's at the 20. Breaks a tackle at the 15. Stays on his feet inside the 10. Down he goes at the 8-yard line of Indiana. First and goal at the 8. Leichert in motion, hook under center. Toss nice block to Jeremy, running to his left. Dives over a would-be tackler. He's into the end zone at the left pylon. Touchdown, MSU. And the Spartans answer in a hurry and retake the lead. Michigan State 21, Indiana 17. Xander Diamant in the pistol. Play fake by Diamant. Wants to run, he'll be scrunched down. First and 10 for Connor Cook. Shotgun snap, looks left, looks right. Now looks back to the right, finds Ooh, the man nice. open. It's Tony Lippett. Kings and Tony Lippett, wide side right. Connor Cook takes the shotgun snap. Over the middle throw for Aaron Burbridge. Spins Stays out of on one tackle feet. at the 35. On his feet at the 30, and finally out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Ball at the right hash mark. Connor Cook has Jeremy Langford to his right. Shotgun snap and a pump fake. Pump fakes left, throws it right. Leaping grab made by Burbridge. Connor Cook's in the shotgun with Langford to his right. Ball at the right hash mark. Here's the snap. Left side throw. Caught by McGarrett King. Get in there. Wiggles away from a tackle at the five. Dives at the left pylon. Touchdown, MSU. Our halftime score, the Spartans 28, Indiana 17. Spartans were behind in this football game. They've regained the lead, and they have an 11-point lead at this point as we are set to start the second half. He's under center with a straight eye behind him. Play fake, steps to the end zone, throws over the middle. Diving grab made by Tony Lippett. Quick throw, right side. Pass is going to be caught by Nick Stoner, but... Forcing a loss on the play. Leomont fires over the middle on third down. And 12, and it's incomplete. Connor Cook takes the shotgun snap. Forced from the pocket. Scrambles to his right, scrambles back to his left. Has time to set up. Now fires down the left sideline for nice Tony catch. Lippett. What wow. a catch. He couldn't even see it till it hit him in the hands. Over his head. Oh. He makes the grab, and he's out of bounds. Ball just inside the left hash. Connor's in the shotgun. Shelton's in motion. Snap from Connor Cruz. Here's a shovel pass there ahead to Shelton. He makes the grab and he's across the goal line. Touchdown, MSU. With Trevin Pendleton. Hand off to Delton, off right guard. All Steps he does is out to right towards. tackle to the 35. He's at the 40. He's at midfield. He waits for the shotgun snap. Here's the snap. Diamant back into the end zone. Throws nice it left hit, side. Yeah. Caught by Jordan Fuchs, his tight end, but he lost yardage. Hit down by Trey Waynes at the four. Good for 11 here. First and 10 at the 34. Play fake by Connor Cook. Offset left side oh. for Shelton. Tapped, and it is caught. Connor Cook steps back to throw. Fires it right side. Burbridge with the catch. Blackard in motion right to left. Hand off to Jeremy. This That's time he's right got there. blockers up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Humphrey wide to the right. Hand off to Delton Williams up the middle, picking his spots. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. O'Connor 
And so oh my goodness. Goodness. off left tackle. He breaks to the clear. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Now the 30. Now the 20. He's inside the 10. Inside the 5. Into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Michigan State will take a knee. Final score, Michigan State 56. Indiana 17. This is the game ball. Uh, Coach D's 100th game, 70th win. Uh, just from us to you, just we, we, uh, appreciate you. It's a blessing to have you as a coach. Uh, but we got at least six, seven more games to win. Yes, sir. So uh, we just appreciate you and uh, all you do for us. Thank you very much. Hey! representative of everybody on this, in this program. Everybody in this program, okay, from the first, that's what he's told the Big Ten Network, from the first guy who made a decision to come here, from the guy who made the decision to stay when we came here in 2007, to the last guy that made the decision to come here this past year. Hey. This belongs to everybody. Everybody's name's going to be on this one. Everybody here is going to be on this one. It's going to sit someplace in my house. It's very, very special. Go Green. Hey. Hey.